Hello, my name is Paul Jensen, and today I'm going to show you the assembly of a two and a half inch universal pulling tool. I'll show you first the components of the universal pulling tool starting from the bottom to the top. Here we have the lower cylinder. Next to it we have the dogs. Beside that we have the fish neck. We have the upper cylinder next, followed by the core. Moving up front we have the core spring, the dog spring, we have the pawls, the dog spring retainer, the lock nut, the lock nut washer, and the shear pin retainer. Today I'm going to show you how to properly and safely assemble the universal pulling tool two and a half inch. We'll start with our lower cylinder and our dogs. To ensure that we spread the, the legs of these dogs over our lower cylinder as such, we'll, we'll slide them down until our recess and which we will then line up our dogs vertically with the milling on our lower cylinder, giving a light smack with our hand. We will ensure that the dogs slide safely over our lower cylinder. Now that our dogs are on our lower cylinder, we are going to invert our lower cylinder so that we can place our dog spring and dog washer into the hole. We start with the dog spring, followed do by the dog washer. Now that our dog spring and dog washer are installed into our tool, we're gonna use our proper OD sized bar to retain our spring. We'll need your proper OD bar and eighth inch steel or an eighth inch punch will suffice. Collapsing the spring, we'll use the assembly holes provided. Now that our spring is compressed with our assembly tools, we're gonna to move on to our pawls. For this step, you're gonna need a wide blade flathead screwdriver and some grease to assist with holding your pawls in. Laying this horizontally on your vise while applying a good amount of grease onto your pawls will allow this to stay in your lower cylinder. Place it on your flathead screwdriver and into your lower cylinder as such. We'll repeat this process two more times. I like to cover the entire pole in grease. This allows for it to stay inside the retained position on our lower cylinder. Place it on top of our flathead screwdriver. Third and final piece. Again, covering the whole thing. This will ensure that it stays in place. Our third and final pull is in place and that step is complete. Now that our poles are installed into our lower cylinder, we're gonna install our core into our lower cylinder. For this, I recommend grease on the midsection and threads of your core. This will allow it to pass through easily. Once the shoulders of your core have passed through the poles, you will need to remove your assembly pins. Then your, your core will pass through, push it through on the bottom. 
now with the installation of the chorus complete. For the next part of our assembly, we're gonna require our two inch core extracting tool. We're gonna to put this into the vise. Now that we've installed our tool onto our core retainer, we're gonna use the 5 16 punch to find our service hole through the shear pin hole. All we need to do to do this, spin our core till it lines up on our tool. Put our punch through. We'll use our core spring, lightly grease the inside of your spring. This will allow it to travel with ease along your tool, place over top of your core, and this step is complete. Now that our universal pulling tool has our core spring, we're gonna make sure it's tight against our core extractor. Once we've completed that, we're gonna take our spring retainer nut, apply a small amount of grease inside on the threads. We wanna make sure the wide shoulder on this part is facing the rest of the tool. We'll then compress the spring and begin to tighten. We'll repeat the same process with our spring retainer washer. A small amount of grease on the inside of your threads, place on top of your core and thread down. Now that we have our lock nut retainer and spring nut retainer in place, we're gonna take our adjustable crescent wrench, tighten up against our tools, and with the assistance of our wrench, we'll tighten these completely down against our core. Once that step is complete, we can remove our punch. Once you've removed your punch from your tool, you can go ahead and install your shear pin retainer, and that step is complete. Now that we have the sub-assembly of our core section on our universal point tool together, we're gonna go ahead and install our fishnet into our upper cylinder. To do that, we'll apply a small amount of grease on the threads of our fishnet, passing our fishnet pin end through first, all the way through our upper cylinder. We thread it back until the shoulder of our threads meets with the shoulder of the upper cylinder. That step is complete. It's important to note with our two inch and in inch and a half universal pulling tool, there is an additional step where retainer segments are required. Now that our upper section of the tool has been subassembled, we'll apply a small amount of grease into the threads on our upper cylinder. Once this is complete, we will pass it over our core spring and we will thread the upper cylinder and the lower cylinder together. Now that our upper cylinder is attached to our lower cylinder, we're gonna remove our core extractor from the vise, placing the upper cylinder of our universal pulling tool into the vise and removing our core extractor. In order to tighten your upper cylinder against your lower cylinder, we simply install a punch into the service hole, apply a crescent wrench 
to your upper cylinder and torque against each other. Once you've completed that, this tool is now assembled and ready for use. Now that your universal pulling tool is assembled, you're free to select your shear up or, or shear down position. Thank you for watching my assembly video. I'm Paul Jensen.